Welcome back to Pedestal. And we're just going to get right into it, shall we? Pretty safe to say. If that's what you think. So that's what you think, are we? Hmm. Well, why don't we go visit? We have a choice here. Let's go. Everything else seemed to, uh... Have blocked us out when we tried it before. But this... This actually gave us the option to go. Hey there, yes, Woka. You got a second? Here for something? Sorry, but I don't want to speak with you. Pardon me. Yes, Woka. Your hands hurt, huh? Got it all bandaged up. You okay? It's none of your business. Really? Is it really not relevant to us? If you say so, fine by me. We just came here because we thought it might behoove you. How do you mean? How about we take this elsewhere? And be clear, I'm saying that because I think it would, it would behoove you too. Personally, we'd be just as fine with talking here. Hmm? Hmm? Owie is concerned. What did you want to talk about? Get! You villain! What were you thinking attacking us in the dark? Did we do anything that extreme? If if you try to do anything else to Wakari, I'm not letting you get away with it. I don't know what you're saying. Could you explain? Oh, enough already. We know the score whether you play dumb or not. Oh yeah, so I must have injured your hand by digging my nails in, huh? Sorry, sorry. Or those big-ass bandages just to hide the wound. Well, not that I really care. We're even, anyhow. As soon as you grabbed, by the, grabbed me by the collar, I could tell it was a man's hands. It certainly could have been a woman with rugged hands, but uh, given the size and the thick joints, they definitely seem masculine. Of course, if it was just some man, I probably would have taken him for an ordinary d degenerate. But you handed me this letter, of all things. Stay away from Natsume. Writing it this way it means more than don't investigate any deeper into Shiori Natsume, doesn't it? The other Natsume, Sakura, the Natsume family as a whole, could be saying not to approach them either, right? When we visited Natsume's house, her mother said that there would be a dinner with the Asuokas, and that Sakura would go too. When we last met, you told us not to stick our noses anymore into anything to do with Natsume. But you must have heard, didn't you? That not only did we not give up, we went as far as going to her house. From Natsume's mother, I'd wager. With your desire to protect Shiori's secret, you had to keep us away from the Natsume family. So you went and did a thing like that. You fearful, fearful not just of us finding that secret at her house, but of us letting that secret out to her family. As talking with Natsume's mother, it seemed like she doesn't have the slightest notion her daughter had the secret she kept hidden to her last. And also, Sakura... Looked to me that on the off chance Sakura learns Shiori's secret, that would be a problem. So you wrote this letter here to keep us away from the Natsumes and from Sakura. I wonder, was attacking us secondary to that? You thought giving us a little scare, making us feel like involvement with the Natsumes would bring you n nothing but would bring nothing good. Would make us give up, did you? But you made a mistake targeting me. Sorry to say. But I wasn't freaked out in the least, and sustained no more damage than a bruised butt. A thoroughly bruised butt, but alas. Maybe it would have been different had you targeted this shorty here. Of course, in that case, I would have had no hesitation handing you to the cops. <clears throat> I'm not seeing where this is going, but it seems you believe I attacked you. What you explained does make sense, but you lack proof. Where's the proof I did this? Never had any intention of shoving proof in your face to make you confess. This isn't a detective show. No need for us to be finding proof in the first place. That can be left to the pros. I'll be frank, though. Even if you really aren't the culprit, it doesn't matter to me. What's that mean? What exactly do you want? <sighs> what a hassle. You're pretty slow, too, huh? Today I went to the hospital and got a medical certificate. Well, it was only a minor bruise, though. It's an ordinary piece of paper, but I hear it makes things go smoother when you're filing a victim report. So I got it first thing in the morning. 
more than just suspecting you, I'm convinced you're the culprit. I have a report proving my injury. Incidentally, I also have an eyewitness. In short, I'm completely prepared to turn you into the police. It just depends on my mood, whether I will. Bang. Akari feeling savage today. You go, girl. That's not all. Us poor, fragile maidens might talk around to cope with the shock of being attacked. I was attacked in the street at night. I'm pretty sure the one who did it was Sumikazu Yasuoka from Iris Academy. You think I should go to the police? Huh. You don't know Yasuoka. You know, Sumikazu Yasuoka, son of the president of Yasuoka Manufacturing. Something like that. So let me ask again. What is the secret of Shuri Natsume's that you're hiding? Aoi <laughs> here, uh, just frozen to the spot, holding her bat. Just absolutely in shock and awe at the lengths that... at all this that Akari is capable of. I see now, so that's your objective. In exchange for not giving me to the police and spreading damaging remarks, I tell you her secret. Threatening me without proof. You two are utterly reprehensible. Don't care to hear it from a guy who'd attack a woman in the night. You sure you're any better? Also, you're wrong about you two. I always not involved here. Well, although she's sort of serving as a bodyguard right now. I'm the one who wants to talk right now. I'm also the one wondering whether to go to the cops. And the one who wants to know not to be secret. Till now, Aoi didn't know any of what I was going to say here. Right, Aoi? Yeah, I had no idea. But... See? So would you stop blaming Aoi? Enough criticizing us, more talking about Shuri Natsume's secret. Getting tired of waiting. So you want to know Shuri's secret no matter what? I don't know why. I won't tell you. Never. You are sure about that? Yes, if it means having an assault on my criminal record, and if my family's honor is stained, I will never tell you it. My decision to marry Shuri was not for our parents whatsoever. It was for my own sake. Perhaps you have already noticed, but it's not as if I loved Shuri romantically, and Shuri was the same. Shuri meant to refuse marrying me. One day the two of us had a discussion about it. Shuri confided me al alone that she had a secret she could tell no one, and that in truth she would have preferred to keep hidden. But she thought it unfair to reject our marriage while keeping quiet about it. That's the kind of honest person she already was. Yet I... In response, I proposed marriage to Shuri myself, of my own will, not my parents. Shuri was surprised, but when I expressed my honest feelings, she accepted them, and she thanked me. We laughed together, promising to become close family. From that day forth, we became engaged in both name and reality. Hmm. And yet, then Shuri... Shuri feared Sakura learning her secret. The burden she bore was some day to pass to Sakura, who caused her to suffer. She worried for that outcome. The burden she bore. It is Shuri's will that her secret remain unknown to Sakura. Shuri is precious to me, so I protect it as if to carry out her that will. I respected Shuri's sincerity. That hasn't changed even now. I want to be sincere to Shuri myself, so I decided I would never speak Shuri's secret to anyone as long as I live. To that end, I'll even be a brute who attacks people on the road at night. Even if I acquire a criminal record or make my parents weep, so be it. I see. Got it. Akari! I was thinking that assailant last night was you, but it seems I was mistaken. Sorry about that. Thanks for indulging us with the chat. We'll be heading home now, so could you toss this in the garbage? Alright. We won't we won't come see you again. So, relax. No. I'm the one who should say, who should say sorry. Well, goodbye. I suppose this was a test of honor for Sumikazu, in a way. And in that... a, uh... gauging... the truth of their relationship to some degree. It's like, if Sumikazu really was shallow, and was in... 
this for the sake of protecting his family's honor, then as soon as Akari made those threats, Sumikazu would have ca caved and told Shiori's secret. Under that pressure, Sumikazu decided to remain true to Shiori. Therefore, we can disqualify him as a suspect in her murder, if she was even murdered. And assuming Akari is reading his words as true here, which, fair. Same. Hey, Akari, why did you tear up the letter? It was proof you were attacked, so surely it'd be best to keep it. I only got it to threaten Yasuoka with. As long as he decides he'll never talk, we're done with him. Not that I had any intention of going to the cops to start with. He would get a medical report just in case, but it was a waste of money. Being willing to take a criminal half criminal record. That's not half hearted resolve. You can't contend with that. Of all, there's no telling what Yasuoka might do if we pressed him any more. Obviously best if we don't bother. So I went and cut Yasuoka off. Sorry, Aoi. Was there more you wanted to ask him? No, it's fine. That's all right. We aren't really going to get much more from him. We're here. Will it be? Head of the social studies room? Um, Akari? Hmm? Oh, shit. I accidentally hit the shift button and skipped ahead. Let's not do that. Hmm? I know we just got back to school, but is it okay if we call off today's newspaper club activities? Totally fine by me, but what's up? I kind of want to think by myself about whether to keep investigating Natsume. Well now, you were so spirited yesterday about absolutely revealing the truth. I still don't have a desire to know the truth, believe me, but... I don't think I want to know it enough that it gets you hurt, Akari. Sounds like you're feeling responsible, but I'm the one who let myself get attacked, you know. You tried to stop me, told me it was dangerous. I forced him into attacking me out of curiosity. My injury wasn't even a big deal, so it's nothing for you to worry about. The reason to quit over that. Not if you don't want to quit. Thanks. But I mean, either way, as much as I investigate, no one pays me any heed. No one's rooting for me. On the contrary, there's a lot of people who despise me. I get called despicable and disgusting. Pushing forward, carried by nothing but motivation. It's like I finally realized I don't have any motivation. So I want to be alone for a bit to think whether I should continue or not. Got it. I'm fine the other way, so take your time thinking about it. Yeah, I'm going home. Since you're hurt, be sure to get home quick and rest up, okay, Akari? See ya. Sorry for always yanking you around. Ah, look at her, so dejected. Poor thing. I can't blame her. No matter what I say, I always the type will worry. She's weirdly sincere. Not to, mention, not to mention the current situation. Besieged on all sides. Sure, we have been doing some admirable stuff, but we've hardly got any allies. If you're investigating your heart out, you can't get told to stay away or that you're terrible. Of course you lose motivation. Plus, my claiming responsibility for getting attacked was a bit of a stretch. I wonder if I can do anything for her. We need to cause something that can bring back Aoi's motivation. Oh? Even if it's not a total placation, could we get one of the people connected to Natsumi on our side? Yeah, I got an idea for who. A girl who's deal we more or less get. Be easy to lure in. Okay, I guess I'll get an offering for her and go pay her a visit. It's an asshole, but I gotta do it. Ooh! That's where we are at. We are just a card. This is our first time we're looking alone here. Ah, Abe, need something? Don't see anyone from the tennis club around today. That's because we take today off. Just borrowing the court to get some practice in. Is there someone you wanted to talk to? Hmm, kinda. Sakura? We take today off, huh? They're in the auditorium. Oh, we can't talk to you. I'm curious to see if uh, Akari has any unique interactions here. Can't go to the pool. Can't go to class three. Oh, 
so we can't use detective mode. Take a chat with chat with Mr. Fujimura. He was super soothing. No Uri around today, it seems. Pretty rare. She's always hanging around after school. I wonder if I'll get paid at work soon. I can't go and have fun without money. Man, I can't get back. I can't get comments on my posts. How do you become famous? Oh, no reply for my boyfriend. We're going on a date after his club time. Will we finish this soon? Probably get going. Gotta walk my dog and it's dark early lately. Fair. Is Mr. Mukuro? Mukuro the single? Does he have a girlfriend or anything? I bet he doesn't. Yeah, no. Don't even. I should have too sleepy today. Of course, I slept through most of the sixth period. I wonder why you're not so sleepy. Huh. I'll head home soon. One of those movie DVDs I ordered online arrived. I can't wait. Uh, who are you again? Yeah, understandable. Oh, your club. I'll be your club, this right? Same here. Club is just a pain. I know. You know. I'll be yours in the top three on tests, huh? I'm envious of your smarts. Oh, really? Just like an interesting uh, Akari factoid. Your skin seems extra nice today. Are you using a new face lotion? Hmm? Where's Zoe? Rare for her not to be around after school. Oh, Miss Abe, where's the little Miss Detective? She's taking club time off today. Myself? Well, I have time on my hands, so I'm just wandering. Ah, I see. Best you, but you should head home soon. It gets to talk awfully quick lately. You wouldn't want to run into anybody dubious. Yeah, huh? Would be real funny if that happened. Do you need something? Are you feeling unwell? No, I'm fine. My butt hurts. Hey, Teach. What is it? Do you have something to discuss? No, there's nothing. Sorry to bother you. Dance team? They're still dancing. There's still no one around here. Up we get. Huh? Where's Zoe? They just go at home for the day. Seems kind of exhausted. Hmm, that's true. She's been working non-stop for the newspaper association lately. Before, she said she'd basically just write articles for the regular paper. Well, everyone needs their rest. Gotta strike a balance. True, true. Though you could stand to strike a balance yourself by working a little harder, Bottles. Oh, what the hell? You sound like the principal. I'm always working hard, see? Can you have those magazines and snacks on the desk before you say that? Apologies. Damn. Someone's whipped. But honestly, fair enough. What's going on up here? Got some business with us? Not especially. Say, you're not with Murakami. Kana's got a photo shoot and lessons. She's busy, because she's a model and all. Yeah, yeah. Unlike a certain somebody obsessed with her lame news coop thingy. Oh yeah, I'll bet. Only Miss Murakami but the groupies of an active model must be quite busy with highly worthwhile pursuits. Huh? It's nothing. Barred by intrusion. Don't fuck with Akari. Ah, they hello. Did you come to buy something? Say, Oi isn't with you. He's gone home for the day. Uh, I'll take two teas and your special cookies. Coming right up. My cookies are fresh and tasty. Eat them with a friend? Sure, something like that. Tea obtained. Cookies obtained. To sort out. Who exactly we are trying to? Yep. Loves the lunch lady special cookies. We are going. We are going gunning for Sakura here. Hmm. Oh, Kana?
So where can we track down Sakura? Ah, you're by yourself today. You've been with Miss Oe all the time lately. Library gang? Literary club, let's not bother them. Let's not bother them. Fair. Sakura, come to parley. What's with you? Did I tell you not to approach me anymore? Did you come to my house? Please, just knock it off. Right. I'm really sorry about the other day. I won't approach you anymore. Hm? Then why are you? I want to properly apologize to you in person. Sorry for any offense I caused. I'll be going now. I'll tell Oe not to come you near you anymore either, just so be at ease. Why are you two looking into my sister? Honestly, I have no interest in Shori Natsume. It's not like we were friends in real life. But Oi, Aoi says she can't believe that Shori Natsume killed herself. More accurately, she doesn't want to believe it. <laughs> Was Oi friends with my sister? No. But she did seem to have an affection for Shiori, in the way she looked up to her. It's hard to accept the death of someone you liked, all the more if it's suicide. So she says she wants to look into why she died, she tells me, to know the truth. Of course, whatever her excuse, no one's going to tolerate methods that hurt the family of the bereaved. Once she understands that, it really does displease you, Sakura. I'm sure she'll give her investigation up. Well, I'll take my leave now. Please, wait! Oh? Oh! Everyone around me believes my sister killed herself. Parents may say that her suicide is unthinkable to them, but inside they seem to have accepted it. I'm sure some part of them is aware of how they shackled their daughter. Not that any of amount of awareness can make up for it now. So you don't believe your sister killed herself, Sakura? It's not quite that. I'm the same as always, Senpai. I don't want to believe it either. That my sister took her own life. Because, I mean, if she killed herself, then it was because of us. Because of her family. Oh. Mr. was pretty, smart, and kind. Someone who everyone loved. She was the same way at home. She always did what our parents told her. Behaving in a way that would make the family comfortable. Oh, doll. Yep, so I could only see her as a life-sized puppet, a dress-up doll that was only for show. The puppet sister's submissive submissiveness was incredibly irritating to me. Together with her perfect conduct at school, it fueled a hatred within me. I hated my sister. I hurt her by throwing heartless remarks her way. Wanting to at least feel peaceful at school, I avoided her there as much as I could. Even then, my sister was always kind to me. And I hated that about her, too. I wonder Sakura doesn't want to believe that she... Uh... That she only killed herself. Because if it's true, she would absolutely be blaming herself for it. Hmm. 
My sister was always smiling. Even when her hopes were crushed by butting up against our parents' views, even when forced into engagement, she always smiled. I was certain that she was fine with that, but she didn't mind being at our parents' beck and call. The moment I heard it suggested that her death might have been suicide, everything seemed to go black. Always smiling, happy, seeming sister killing herself meant that in truth she was suffering. It was the parents restrained her that made her choose suicide and me who just looked on. That's why I didn't want to believe it was suicide, even if that was only an escape. Yeah, it's... I mean, her parents really were smothering her, and you were only hurting her by hating her for what she was doing to survive. Say, Sakura, say that you couldn't trust Yasuoka. Why was that? It's less about Sumikazu. I had doubts about the nature of those two's relationship. See, this happened once. Oh? Shiori hours? Shiori, I told you, dinner's ready. Hmm, give me a sec. I have things to do tomorrow, so I have to memorize these scores today. Be there in ten more minutes. Aren't you going to the movies with Sumikazu tomorrow? That's right. Want to come, Sakura? I'm not going. I hate that guy. He just feels so brazen. Don't say things like that. We should get along. He's your sister's future husband. Yeah. That guy doesn't like you, sister. I'm sure of it. Why do you think that? Because when I asked him what about you he liked, he got super flustered and wouldn't even answer. He's just shy, that's all. Don't embarrass him too much, okay? Sumikazu's really diligent. Not as, not as if you like Sumikazu either, Shiori. You just got engaged because Mom and Dad ordered you to. You're right. Maybe it's not like I'm in love with Sumikazu. I respect his diligence and sincerity. I think he'd be a wonderful partner. Is that wrong of me? So it's true, you don't love him, yet you're marrying him for the family's convenience. Such old-fashioned junk. Isn't it thinking marriage has to start with a feeling of love that's old-fashioned? What's that? You don't get together just from a feeling of love, and there's no need to. Not in this day and age. At the very least, because when I got engaged with the recognition of each other, we're both satisfied with it. So it's perfectly fine. So, less husband and wife, more partners? Maybe not partners, but accomplices. Oh? Huh? First impressions would be that there's something that they were planning together. But honestly, it feels more like they were accomplices to each other's secrets. And being open with their secrets they could accept the marriage as a uh, business-slash-political thing between their families while still being open with each other. In a way, kind of no. Maybe you can't understand just yet, Sakura. It's all right. If the time comes that I can tell you, I will. Fine, forget it. See if I care, sister. Keep doing whatever Mom and Dad say. That is an interesting bit of Never got to hear what she meant. Even now, I don't know. Respect, accomplices. I only thought she was trying to dodge the question with words I didn't really understand. It wasn't just my sister. I didn't get what Sumikazu was thinking one bit, so I couldn't trust him. If I just wanted to hear my sister say the words, I love Sumikazu. Those, just those words, if I got to hear my sister say she was marrying someone she loved, I, sure, I would have cheered her on. But truthfully, if it was something she decided herself, I should have been cheering her on whether I could accept it or not. It goes beyond just Sumikazu. I feel like there were lots of similar times where I would have pouted about my sister's choices. In a way, I was trying to get my sister to act in the way I wanted her to. Ultimately, I was the same as our parents. I tormented my sister. I have no right to shed tears over her death. You know, during our investigation we heard that you hated your sister. It's a little surprising to hear you carry that kind of guilt, but hearing you talk, I understand. 
Sakura really liked her sister a lot, didn't you? She wanted her to be free. He thought she should be happy, marrying someone she loved. Sure, it might be an escape not wanting to believe your sister's death was a suicide. I'm not about to blame you for it, especially when the deceased is to your family. Besides, you spoke up like this because you also want to know the truth, don't you, Sakura? Maybe your sister really did take her own life. Maybe she was suffering under her family's restraints. Those statements are not mutually exclusive. Even knowing that might be so, you came to want to know the truth. That is, you decide to stop running and confront your sister's death. That's a truly admirable thing. Certainly not some one thing anyone could do. But you can't go thinking you have no right to cry. If you're sad, it's fine to cry plenty. You love your sister, after all. Happy senpai. I'm sorry for saying such rude things the other day, not really knowing what was going on. I'll support you, too. I want to know the truth, too. Could you tell that to always senpai for me? Thanks, Sakura. I'm glad to hear you say that. If you realize anything about your sister, let us know right away, okay? Oh. Akari has a sweet side to her. So yeah, there was that. Sakura wants to assist us with the investigation, but said it'd be hard to juggle with her club. Seems we can at least talk with her briefly during club time, though. Maybe find a good time to do that. Uh, hold on a sec. This is so sudden, I can't process it. I mean, like, Akari, why'd you charge at Sakura like that? And to such amazing results. It's my fault I let us into cutting off Sumikazu important target for my investigation, so it's my atonement. So yeah, now you won't be fighting all alone, are we? You need to get so downtrodden. Not a problem if you want to give up the investigation anyway, of course. I'm sure Sakura will understand if you tell her the situation. So what'll it be, boss? <laughs> I see. There was someone thinking the same things as me. In fact, it's her sister, Sakura. Sakura also wants to know the truth. Sakura's going to support me! There's no way I could say give me up the investigation. I mean, there's someone supporting me. Akari is sitting there going, bingo. Bingo! All right, I'm gonna have to think about how to proceed from here from before tomorrow. Things are gonna get busy again. All right, well, good night. Oh, wait a second. What? Akari, do you think it's okay if I keep up this investigation? I do get this feeling you want it to end already, you know? So I'm wondering how you feel now. I'm really grateful you talked to Sakura for me, but... You don't have to force yourself to go along with me if you don't want. Well, sure I won't want to get done quick, because I'm not personally invest interested and it's a hassle, but you want to keep going, right? I told you before, but I, I like watching you just do as you please, Aoi. It's amusing. You never get tired of it. I'm also opposed to you ending the investigation unwillingly. You get all mopey, it affects my mood, too. But I wouldn't mind if you're insensitive or thoughtless about it. Do as you please, all carefree, and I'll back you up. Got it. Thanks, Akari. Okay, see you tomorrow. Hmm, night. I might say I didn't have anyone who supports me, but I shouldn't forget that Akari's been investigating with me the whole time. Even if she is, uh, she seems more blunt and direct with Aoi sometimes, as opposed to that really honestly emotional side she had with Sakura. Now I've got Sakura's assistance too, so if Akari insists, I'll go until I'm satisfied. Um, well, a lot sure happened. Let's refresh our attitude and get back to going all in on investigation. Bring with motivation, eh? So what are you researching? Have you sorted out all the info we've gotten in your head? Yep. Her. Uh, the result of which being confirming that we understand hardly anything. Well, yeah. Incidentally, the people we've been questioning have mostly been clubless students and unoccupied teachers. 
didn't concern myself with other clubs since I didn't want to bother them, but possible they may contain people who have important information. From now on, we'll change targets. That is, we'll barge in to question the members of active clubs. When all that'll pan out? Won't someone get mad? Well... But look, we're doing serious club work of our own. They should give us a little bit of a pass. Oh, maybe not the orchestra club. It's tough to intrude while they play. I question them again, and Yuki might get real angry at us this time. As for what to investigate, uh, we've hardly asked anyone except the principal about the Nutsby incident itself, have we? You know, that's true. We got the police report, but the principal didn't give any answers. Yeah. So how about we get back to our roots and ask people's opinions about Natsume and her death? You know, there's a little rumor of suicide, but maybe there are those who don't agree. Let's do our best to come up with some fresh information. Got it. That'll be today's topic. What about tomorrow on? I'm glad you asked. I'm digging into what uh, Hahagi, Hahagigi, Yuki, and Murakami's relationships with Natsume were like. Something we still don't understand very well is their relations to Natsume. The change in who we questioned, we might get some new information. Well, I guess there's no need to question Sakura or Yasuoka anymore, is there? Yasuoka. I'm honestly scared to dig any deeper, and we are frail girls after all, so we should ensure, ensure our safety. Yeah, I'm in agreement. I mean... I feel like the only opening we might have there is if, uh... Like, if there is development with uh, Sakura being the next uh, model daughter, to have the family's expectations thrust upon her and have the relationship with Sumikazu thrust upon her, like, that would be the opportunity to maybe reapproach the idea of uh, Shiori's secret with Sumikazu, but. Another time, another way. I'm in agreement. Sakura is more of a collaborator now, so we can ask her things directly. As such, these two are excluded from future questioning. Alrighty. Really thought through the future course of, this, of the investigation. Not bad. A rare smile. <laughs> right? Got people supporting me after all. I've got to think things through. Okay, now let's get going. Statue menu on the title screen updated. Sakura, Shiori, to do list. Interview mode. Okay. Oh no, sticky keys. Uh, no. That's okay, because the C button is. Also, sticky keys. Turn of clubs off days. Question only active clubs. Use the phone to check days of the week. Oh, okay. Oh, are we on a schedule now? Interesting. We're going to save here. I'm going to jump back to the title screen just to look at the statue screen. We got Sakura now. Oh. Kari, Aoi. Nothing on Shiori's pedestal. Oh, that's cute. So it's a Wednesday currently. Hmm. The Gyaru brand. So, Bottles has nothing to tell us about this. Ah, oh wait. So you're out and about today. Did you take yesterday off? Yep. I'm getting right back to it. Right back to it today. Cheer me on, Bottles. As long as you don't bother me, I guess I can at least do that. Go for it. Okay, so... No off days today. So everyone is on premises. We need time to bug the literary club. Investigation is fine, you two, but keep it quiet. The literary, literary club's busy with work. Oh yeah, I wanted to... I 
She was a popular girl, huh? But I didn't have any interest in her. Most I just thought it was cool. Now she had the same last name as Soseki Natsume, huh? <laughs> Oh, there we go. Sujimoto. Natsume? I didn't think of it. We talked once in the library. She was reading a book with a paint expression, so I got curious and spoke up. A, a paint expression? What was she reading? I think it was Theus? It's a book they based on opera on. You heard of it? Oh, no, a song of that opera, yeah. What's the story about? It's about a devout hermit who converts a harlot. Oh, like, you must give in to you. give yourself to pleasure. When the harlot dies, the hermit confesses, I actually loved you all along. So the formed harlot dies after praying for three months, while the hermit gives in to desire. Kinda like, what the heck is this, you know? Maybe that's why Natsume had a weird look? I'd have a weird look too, if I was her. Not gonna lie. Interesting bit of hearsay. Think Natsume's death was suicide? I thought she was an incredibly blessed girl, but maybe something pained her. I'm not really sure, I've never talked to her or anything. That's an interesting bit of... Info? What are you guys doing? Her photos have not been on the school website, but they've been deleted now. Just natural, I guess. That's me, huh? I often talked with her. And she was really nice. She was pretty and rich, but not pretentious. I looked up to her quite a bit, honestly. Natsume had some unusual aspects to her. Despite being in orchestra, she said she actually hated classical. Maybe that's just how artists are. Eh? Interesting. What are you cooking? Stranger. Really too bad. She really was such a good girl. What are you looking into Natsume for? Are you planning to write an article? I think you should stop with that. You're definitely gonna get yelled at. Thanks, Ito. Natsume's dad's a company president, right? Setting her up with a fiancé to succeed him and stuff. What do they do now without their precious daughter? She already often came to eat the treats our club made. Gives a big smile and be like, It's delicious! Something really sad about the idea that she can't eat our food anymore. Oh. Oh? Supplies? Fire extinguisher? It's a random detail. Biology! What is happening in the... Oh, hello, anatomical models. I just never talked with Natsume. Imagine she didn't know I existed either. Natsume was famous, but I'm totally mediocre. She liked cats, you know. But she couldn't keep one at home because of her parents' cat allergies, so she cared for strays near the school. That's another bit of, uh, Cat lore related to Shioni. Peesh. <laughs> Alright. Bail here. Chemistry physics. I didn't interact at all, so I don't know. Someone as lowly as myself, the idea of even talking to her filled me with fear. <laughs> Relatable. Not so, yeah. I want to say she often went down the hall outside here on lunch break. I don't know the details there. Hmm? The hall outside here? The one leading to the rooftop? Yeah, we were also here during lunch break, doing club stuff, so we often saw her going by. I found it strange, wondered what she was up to, because isn't, isn't the roof atop off limits? But hey, there was another girl who would go by, so I didn't pay too much mind. Oh ho! When the here is say. When the say is here. Hello, artists. Here, the orchestra club was planning to perform a song called March to the Gallows for the Culture Festival, but they changed it after she already died. Guess it would come, off, would come off as inappropriate. Yeah, a little bit. Natsume, huh? Even to us seniors, she felt far out of our league. A girl that blessed killing herself makes no sense. It's easier living an average life like me. Looking to Shiori? That's fine, but you shouldn't question. You shouldn't question in two C, okay? There's girls who saw Shiori as an enemy. Shiori was good enough at violin to go to a music college. I think she kind of, she said she didn't intend to. Kind of a waste when you have that kind of talent. A talent, but no love for classical music. Oh, hi. You guys again. What? 
<laughs> Nothing at all. So then, then could you not stand around us? You're being annoying. And like, are you still investigating Natsume or whatever? Such a hard work, even when it's pointless. Don't like I care. I've got nothing to say, so can you go already? <laughs> Rain it in, Owie. Bite you, bite you, bite you. Bite you. Bite you, bite you, bite you, bite you, bite you. Bite you. Okay, what else is up here? And that covers the upstairs. Go here, can't go here. Janitor. Oh, little Miss Detective. Don't stick around too late. Thanks. Hey, you are a little unwell. Not that's a bad thing. Oh, we can talk to the dance club. Hmm, seems fun too. I'm envious. Oh boy, you have lots to say. I wasn't in Natsume's class, so I didn't speak to her much. But she was a celebrity. I bet lots of girls were shocked by her death. Shorty, she was a super good kid. Such so a shock when she died. It was that Shorty killed herself, huh? I don't want to believe it, but she did fall from the roof on that s of the school that night. Hard to think of that as an accident. Shorty, I was pretty good friends with her, but I don't want to talk about it. It hurts to remember. Shorty was a rich girl, but he had a pretty good attitude. Go along with the weirdest conversations. I always liked that about her. But thinking about it, she never got into any talk about love. I even wanted to hear about her fiance. Wonder if she was too embarrassed. Hmm. Hmm. She really told me she was looking forward to seeing the dance team on the stage at the cultural festival. And she ended up dead. What, what, what could have happened? Didn't want to talk about love. Especially concerning her fiance. Like that because they weren't actually in love. Swim team. Hi there, swimmers. That's me. We were in different classes and we never really talked. Wouldn't really know anything in particular. Hold on, actually. I think of it. One time I went to the counseling room because I was bored and I passed by Natsume. So I've heard them talking just a little. Whoa, really? Do you know what Natsume was talking about? I couldn't hear her very well from the hallway, but she was saying something rather about cats. She had a super dour look when she came out. Cats? A dour look after talking about cats? Hmm, I don't get it. Again with the cats. She definitely was kind of the star of the school. I heard she was a bit popular even among first years. Even the t then, the teachers were really fond of her. Well, that then dying? It's a shame. I don't know much about nuts, but wasn't there a girl who was always with her? In 2D, kind of gloomy. We should talk with her. Ah, Kiki? That's the green haired girl. Was she in the orchestra club? Why don't you try asking the girls there? I wouldn't know any details. Oh, well, I was envious of Shuri's beauty and figure. It really took me by surprise when she died. Beautiful do die young, it seems. Oh wow, there's a lot of people here. That's me, I talked to you just a little bit. What was that we talked about? Sorry, I'm too tired to think right now. All the girls brought her up a lot. She was pretty smart and rich, wasn't she? Someone like that really did exist, huh? No, oh, she passed passed away, didn't she? Yeah, oops. Any article on Natsume? You might want to stop or the teachers will get mad. Either way, I didn't know Natsume at all, so I don't think I can help you. Lack of Natsume and all the presents she brought made the stool makes the school feel somehow lonely. Not that I was friends with her or anything. Actually, I might have been the last person to see Shiori. What? Huh? What do you mean? My grandma lives close to the school. After eating dinner at their house and relaxing, I took the train back to my house. It was probably around 11, 10.30 at night. Then I saw Shuri at the station nearest the school. I was on my way home, Shuri came out from the ticket gates and we passed each other. That was weird. I wonder if she had some business at school coming from Ota Station that late. Then the next day I heard Shuri died. I'm like, is that what she was headed to school for? What did that look like then? What was she wearing? She had a pink school shirt, pink skirt on in her school bag. Was well, so I want to say she even had makeup? Didn't seem gloomy in the least, so I could have never imagined she'd die after that. Did you ever tell the police this? I haven't. And I mean, she already died at school, so it's just self-evident that she used the nearest station to it, right? So I figured there was no need to say anything. God, that's a lot. Hold on a second. What the shit?
Black cardigan, white blouse, pink skirt, black tights, red pumps, school bag, cosmetic pouch. You very well might be correct. Well, shit, alright. Should I seem famous even in other schools? Because I hear, always hear about it from other schools' teams. Oh, like, do you really have a beauty like that here? Not so, we're not even especially close. I don't know any details. Get us someone else, okay? Not so, was smart, wasn't she? I feel like she, she was always top of her grade in tests. Rumors that she killed herself, but was she so smart she got depressed? You know, Natsume had a really good figure, right? Like, you know the model girl in our grade? It's like Natsume wouldn't even be bested by her. Is that rivalry again? Really popular, really popular second year, right? Why do you think she died? Is it true that what they say about being suicide? That's what we're trying to figure out. We sat close together, so we talked a fair bit. She was nice and sociable. I never thought she'd kill herself. Oh, well, sorry, I don't know. I knew she was popular, though. What a realistic range of, uh... So many people. I wonder what that name. She was a second year and really rich, right? I don't know a single thing else. That's why Senpai had such an aura about her. She was so wonderful and cool when she played violin. I can't play an instrument, but I wanted to be just like her so much. I might have wondered about joining the orchestra club. Sorry, we never talked at all, so I wouldn't know. Solving the popular girl's tragic, mysterious death. Mm, I bet there's a TV drama like that. Right, so Natsumi fell from the roof, didn't she? I've always wondered if it was okay to go to the roof when it's off limits, but I'm sure I never expected something like this to happen. Hmm? I did, hear the I did hear the door to the rooftop was broken, meaning you could open it. Did you know about that, Kamiya? Yeah. Heck, the rooftop was a secret spot for those in the know. It's a few months earlier, maybe. Girls wanted to skip class would sneak up there. Really? Were there quite a few girls who knew? Hmm, not sure. Probably weren't that many. If it were too well known, the teacher would find out and get it closed off. It was like, strictly a hiding spot. Oh, oh. A secret spot known by few? And one that not space seemed to be regularly sharing with another girl on lunch breaks. Not saying it was a beauty, but she had a pretty voice too. It was calm and really easy to listen to. I said to think I'll never get to hear it again. I tried inviting Natsume to drop a couple a few times. She was pretty and had a nice voice, so she'd be perfect for acting, right? I wanted to have her as a guest star. Too bad things ended up the way they did. Tennis? Sakura! Nothing much to ask the tennis club, but we can ask. Ah, oh, we sent by. Sakura, I heard from Bacardi that you would support us. Thank you so much. We'll be doing our best to bring the truth to light. I hope to have your assistance. No, thank you. Looking to, for looking into what happened to my sister so earnestly. I'm so glad. Is there anything you want to know? So please ask if you want. Oh, okay. Things I know about my sister as I, are as I told Abe sent by. Why she actually died. I don't want to know that myself. Oh, I haven't actually told you about the day she passed away yet, have I? Uh, the night she had dinner, spent a little while up in her room, then got in the bath. That was around 9.30. Remember the time? Whoa. It's a show I'd like to watch at 10, so while going to take my bath at 9.30, I passed by Shuri coming out. That's why I remember. She told me the wa bath water was hot, so she cooled it down a little for me. Gave some half hearted reply. So our last conversation. As I got out of my bath, I went right to my room to watch TV and slept in my bed like usual. I thought Shirley was in her room the whole time after getting out of the bath, but that wasn't the case, it seems. In the morning, the housekeeper woke me up. The police had called, telling our parents to come to the hospital. I see, so that's how you learned she died. Was there anything unusual about Natsume that night? Like her seeming kind of brooding? No. She was the same as always. She was someone who always smiled, not in a good show, even if she was displeased. Right, got it. Sorry for making you remember such painful things, Sakura. <sighs> Are you learning empathy? <laughs> it's alright. We can, can provide something to the investigation. I'll talk about anything. Do your best, you two. Maybe the, the whole shock to the system of the Sumikazu Akari assault. It's finally woken up. Oh my god, there's a lot of people here. So many people. So many people. You, Natsume, there's something I find a little curious. Ooh, what is it? 
There's often around the entrance, outside of coming and going house, I mean. All that's there is the shoe cubbies, right? What do you think she was doing? Hmm, it certainly is curious. The same class as Nasu I sent by his little sister. Her name's Sakura, do you know her? She's at the tennis team and probably at the court now. What do you she in? Sorry, I don't know too many seniors. Shuri, sorry, I don't really want to talk about it. We were pretty friendly, so it still hurts. Didn't you have a fiance? What school is he from again? I don't remember. Shuri said, I got a strong impression she was a nice girl. What's a smile on her face? Very cool, didn't she have a sister? Dragon no sister? Don't worry, we're all over it. Shuri was always surrounded by friends, definitely a popular person. At the funeral, everyone from our school was crying their eyes out, myself included, I mean. Between us, but I don't think Natsume killed herself. Why do you say that? You don't believe the rumors? I was close to you, so I go jogging near the school every night. The night before we learned Natsume died, I was running around as usual. That's when I saw someone leaving the school gate. B what? What did they look like? What did you see them? It was dark and I was running, so I couldn't see clearly, but I think it was a woman. Also, the person went running off, and the running form also struck me as feminine. Now, when was it? And for... About 30 minutes after that, so I got home to watch a TV show at midnight, so I probably saw the woman at 11.30? This is huge information, but did you tell them this to the police? I didn't. No guarantee that the person did anything to Natsume, and it could have just been a teacher working late. I figured I'd mention it if the police asked, but they never came, so I just let it pass. Now everyone's saying it was a suicide, so it's kind of late to reopen the case like that. Hmm... We are going to seriously blow the shit out of this. Blow the, this shit up. If we put this together. It is proving more and more that there is something definitely here to go kablooey. Being on here, you can just hear the orchestra club play. Just listen. Don't you hear it now? Thinking about how Shorty's violin isn't part of that performance now. It's kind of sad. Also, hello. Where was that? She killed herself, huh? Why go through trouble doing it at school? Hmm, I just don't get it. That's it was a second year, wasn't she? I know the name, but not what she was like? Why she might have died? I have no idea. Does this cover everybody? Oh, hello. There's a place. What else is out here that I don't know about? Alright. Okay. We've gotten some important info today. Shall we stop and sort it out? Just regarding the rooftop, I knew from the police report that at the time of the incident, the door going up there could be opened. I was sure the police inspection had to be had to be when that was first noticed, but I was wrong. Certain people were in the know about it, access, accessing the rooftop months prior. Furthermore, some people used it as a hiding spot, thinking Natsume was one of them. Sasamoto from the Science Society says she saw Natsume walking down the hall to the rooftop numerous times. But wondering why all this all this time why Natsume went to the rooftop. Maybe that wasn't a particularly special occurrence for. But I don't know what Natsume was doing up there. The point is she was using it beforehand. What she was doing is very important. We don't know any more about that. At any rate, going up on the roof was a usual event for her. It must have been for something she didn't want others to see. That's what it means to use a secret spot like the rooftop, doesn't it? An ordinary occurrence and not something she wanted people to see. I get it. You go to the rooftop and she wanted to skip class and take a nap all sprawled out. Something like that, yeah? Well... If you want to use the sort of thing irresponsible people like us would do to illustrate it, then, yeah, more or less. And hey, maybe she was. Maybe, like, the very few people who had access to that rooftop were the ones who saw the true face of Shuri. What's figuring that out got to do with Natsume's dad? She went, to the, she went to the trouble of going up to the rooftop at night that day. You say she did what she normally did on the roof, but sneaking in at night? Doesn't that sound weird? Yeah. There's no guarantee your reason for going to the roof with that night was the same as what it usually was. In fact, maybe Natsume, wanting to die, chose to carry it out from the rooftop she was uh, so acquainted with. 
Is that so unimaginable? No, that can't be it. Why not? They were the testimony of Sugata from the basketball team. That's what was in casual clothes where I'd make it, remember? Hey, lots of suicidal girls have the mindset of one will be pretty when they die. You could you could very probably make the argument that surely, given everything she was under, wanted that too. No that, but if that were the case, wouldn't she give careful thought to her belongings, to her bag too? Lots of bags in the closet in Natsume's room. On the night of the incident, she had her school bag, see? Yeah, I guess so. Getting all dressed up to go die, it's a little weird to pick your school bag to carry it with you. Right. This is just a guess, but what if Natsume simply thought, I'll dress up a bit and head to school? Got the police report. Among her belongings was a commuter pass and cosmetic pouch. To head to school, so she naturally she needed a train pass. And it'd be good to have her cosmetic pouch to touch up her makeup any time. That's where Natsume took her school bag. Those are both things you'd always have in your school bag, right? I gotcha. That's how she was thinking. That school bag would be most convenient. So what does that make her objective for dressing up and heading to school? Maybe to meet with someone. If she were sneaking into school at night without plans to meet someone, she need a cosmetic pouch? Got a point. Even if you wanted to make, if you, even if you wanted makeup, in case people saw you on the way to school, a cosmetic pouch seems like overkill. Ah, I get it. What Kobayashi from the track team told us. Right. According to Kobayashi, a woman left the front gate around 11.30. It's hard to imagine a teacher working until that late hour. That word surely would have been mentioned in the police report. Sugata saw Natsume at the station around 10.30. The estimated time of death was between 11 and 12. And Kobayashi saw the woman leaving the school at around 11.30. With this timeline, it's not inconceivable Natsume was meeting that woman at school. She needed to meet someone. Or perhaps she was called there by that person. They choose the rooftop location in the late night time frame to completely eliminate any possible witnesses. <sighs> so that person pushed Natsume off the rooftop. I'm not saying that. I just want to suggest that Natsume met that person on the roof. There's still the option of that person being present when she died. Natsume's fall being an accident. But I proposed the theory that someone was with Natsume back when she would talk we talked on the rooftop, right? The possibility has jumped way up after today's investigation. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. Compared to when we started, the situation began to become a lot clearer. Pretty wild. I'm guessing from here on we'll put a focus on finding out who was with Natsume when it happened. Correct mundo. That's exactly right. I've been feeling it faintly. We started this investigation. For all of Natsume's popularity, not many had a deep relationship with her. We've asked all around in the school, but yet it seems there was no one Natsume openly showed her honest self to. Everyone felt a step removed. Several steps. Like, sliding scale of steps removed. Meaning, sure enough, those who did have a deep relationship with her, or some kind of other connection, those five people are important. So what do you say to investigating those five as candidates for, sh for Natsume's rendezvous partner? Right, right. Then surely we could leave Sakura and Yasuoka out for that, yeah? I can understand Sakura, but why Yasuoka, too? If she used the rooftop at night for a secret meeting, odds are I was with someone from this school, don't you think? No point in a secret meeting on campus with someone from another school. I just wanted to avoid attention. There's got to be other places. So how would be Yasuoka? Inviting a student from a boys' school to come to a girls' one at night seems awfully risky. If Sakura were the one, no reason to go to school at night. Could just go anywhere but home if she didn't want their parents watching. Yeah, that's fair. I don't see a problem with that. If I'd excluded those two from questioning. Just wanting to avoid attention is a weak reason to pick the rooftop. That's certainly true. There's be some additional reason for the choice of the rooftop. I feel like it's got to have something to do with what Natsume normally used the rooftop for. Dang it, I'm so curious. There weren't any girls who knew that Natsume used the rooftop at all. It'd be futile to ask about it more. Yep. Think that'll do it for investigation into Natsume on her own, then? Yeah. But as planned, we'll continue by doing further questioning about Hakaki, Miyuki, and Murakami. We want to know more about all three's relation to Natsume and what kind of people they are. And so we've changed who we're asking. Dig into these things, we might be able to determine who Natsume met with that night. But buckle down! So yeah, with our future direction decided, that's it for today. Good work, everyone! Yeah, good work. Let's move it. This was a very productive day. Okay then, 
Let's put hearts into it. Alright, who's starting with that? Let's see. We first were looking at Murakami. Well, that's a surprise. I thought you'd put off dealing with the one you hate. No, I've learned a lesson. I'm a sword that whether I do it now or later, I won't change that I hate it. Possibly I wouldn't want to get involved with Murakami, not even for questioning, but I feel like her relation to Natsume is important, so... Well, that's right. Once you've collected enough info, is it okay if I come here and sort it out? I get confused when there's lots of info. I'll be occasionally confirming at least the important stuff. Sure thing. Do as you please, boss. Alright, to-do list updated. Interview mode. Kano Murakami. Oh, we can sit here and sort, too. Puzzle mode. Oh, wow, we do actually have... Puzzle pieces here. Okay, so we can come back to this anytime. It's interesting. Most people about Shuri and Kana Murakami. Kana is the school idol, school model. In the Go Home Club, of course. Yeah, so this has been a very productive day, I would say. When we return, we will start dealing into our uh, individual uh, examinations here. Until then, till then.